In this tutorial we're going to cover how to create a simple street map using Adobe Illustrator. First thing you need to do is go into your canvas and go ahead and grab sample map and usamap.ping. Let's go ahead and go into Illustrator. Let's do a file open and go ahead and grab that sample map. Now you're going to notice when it comes in, I'm going to do control minus a couple times, that my artboard is set much smaller than my image itself. So in order to fix that, let's go to Object, Artboards, and Fit Artwork to Bounds. Now let's do a file, Save As, first initial, last name, sample map, .adobe Illustrator, put it on your flash drive or your desktop, and push Save. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. For this project, we're going to go ahead and use Layers. So let's go to Window, and grab our Layers panel. And I'm going to undock it just because they have a tendency to close. So you'll notice right now that our base layer is layer 1. So I'm going to go ahead and double click layer 1 on my layers panel and call it base. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up here to opacity on the control panel. I'm going to take my opacity down to about 30 percent because I want it to be relatively see-through when I go ahead and trace it. Now I want to go ahead and lock that layer so I can't accidentally move it in the process of trying to create my map. So now we need to create a new layer down here at the bottom, the post-it note. I'm going to double click it and name it roads. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to put some roads in. We're going to use our pen tool to do that. So right now my pen tool is set to default. If you hit your white and black, it's set to default with a black stroke and a white fill. We do not want to fill. So we want to make sure we go ahead and change that fill into no fill. And I want to go ahead and I want these colors to be matching, obviously. I could go back and recolor them, but I don't want to. So I'm going to go into my swatches. Now if you notice right now, because we opened the image, we do not have any colors in our swatches. So we need to go down here to the bottom, go to the little books. We want default swatches and go ahead and hit Art and Illustration. And that'll go ahead and give us some colors to choose from. So we don't have to guess and try and figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and squish that back up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the red. So it's telling me I've got no fill and that I've got a red stroke because lines are a stroke. I'm going to click and drag and click again when I want to turn. And I'm going to click, I'm going to hit Enter in order to stop the pen. I'm going to click and drag, click, click, down, over, down, enter. I'm going to hit one more. All right, so that is my red, my red line. Now I want to go ahead and do my yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and change my stroke to the yellow. I've still got my pen tool. I'm going to click and drag. And I did that too short, that's okay. We're going to click and drag it there. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to click and drag this one and enter. And I've got a green and a blue left. So let's go ahead and grab a green. I'm going to click and drag. Click, drag. If you hold shift as you do this, it'll work better. And let's go ahead and grab the blue. So I'm going to grab one, two, down, hit enter, click, down, hit enter. So now if I look at my layers panel, if I turn off my base, I can see my roads that I've made so far. And clearly I made a mistake on this one. I made it yellow instead of red. So I'm going to grab that selection tool, grab that path, and I want to make it red instead. Oh, I'm making a new line instead. So let's grab the selection tool grab that path. Instead of it being yellow, we want it to be red. So now it is red instead. So now my roads are really skinny. So let's go ahead and click on your layers panel. If you click the button over on the right hand side, it'll select everything it wants. Let's go up here to stroke and bump your stroke up to about 60 points. And notice how it changed everything it wants for you. So that made it pretty nice. So you obviously want to take more time in tracing than I did. So let's go ahead and the next thing you're going to need to add are these roundabouts. So let's go ahead and add a new layer. And let's call them roundabouts. 
You can do this on your roads layer too if you want to. Now I don't want to mess with my roads, so I'm going to go ahead and lock my roads so I can't do anything to them. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool, but obviously I want my roundabouts to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my black over here. So now my fill, my stroke is black, my fill is zero. I'm going to go here to the center of my ellipse that I need to draw. Hit Alt and Shift at the same time and drag it out and you're going to get that ellipse. It's a little bit big, so I'm going to go ahead and take it down to maybe 40 points. Then I can click on it, hit Alt and drag, and I've made a copy. And I can adjust that with my, or I can do a copy, a Control C and a Control V, and I can grab it and drag it that way. If you can drag it, I don't. There we go. Come on, here we go. Put that on there, and we'll just practice drawing another one. So Alt and Shift, drag out, and create those roundabouts. So I'm going to control minus, bring that out a little bit. All right, so the next thing I need to do is add my stops that I have along the way. So I'm going to add another layer down here. I'm going to name it stops. I'm going to go ahead, hit enter. I'm going to lock my roundabouts so I can't accidentally play with those. Now this time I want to create solid circles. So I'm going to create a red one, but I want my fill to be red and my stroke to be none because we don't want to have any stroke at all. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go ahead and grab that ellipse tool. I see my fill is red. I have no stroke. Hit my alt shift. Pull out. So I've got a circle. I can always nudge it with my arrows can do a alt drag, bring it over. So you'll want to do that for every single one of the stops along the way. So let's go ahead and grab the blue. We've got some blue stops along the way here. So let's go ahead, actually that should be green. Let's go ahead and add a blue one up here. Let's grab our ellipse tool. And here, shift alt, pull out. I didn't make it green, I made it red, so I'm going to go ahead with a blue swatch, with a blue stroke, which is even better. So I'm going to turn my stroke off, I'm going to go over here to my swatch, make it blue, so it matches. Now I've got a problem here with this road, so I'm going to go back to my road, unlock it, click on this path, on my roads layer, and I'm going to go ahead and make it the green instead. But I did a green fill, so you notice how it made a fill instead of the stroke. So that's why we don't want to have a fill when we create the lines themselves. All right, now my green line is back to normal. And I can re-lock re it. So that's how you go ahead and add all those stops along the way. One of the next things you're going to have to add is your labels. So go ahead and create another layer. I'm going to go to my stops. And my top layer here is going to be called Labels. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my text tool. And right now, my text is set to be, have a stroke, but no color. So let's go ahead and we need to make a text box. We've got it to be black. We had Myriad Pro and about 12 points. So let's go ahead, roll in, and we need to write Woodson Road. And I accidentally switched tools. There we go. And it little lorem ipsum shows up. Clearly 12 is going to be way too little. So let's try 36. There we go. And it's totally up to you as to what type and style you're going to create as you go along. So I can take it up even a little bit more. And I close that down. Move it around. I can then take it and do an alt and drag over. Change my text to Forsyth Road instead. Boulevard. 
I can change my color just as you would in a lot of the other programs. Alright, so I didn't actually change it. Add to defaults, swatches, art and illustration, and we want this red. Alright, so I'm not going to mess with that. Come on. Oh, I don't have anything selected. So let's go ahead and I'll just choose a red. Mess with that for now. So say I want to move one of these over to Forest Park. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to Alt and drag. I'm going to grab my text and change it to Forest Park. All right, then I can take my rotate tool, which is right down around somewhere. I hit it. Rotate, there we go. With my selection, so here's my selection. I've got my rotate tool on. I can grab this guy and rotate him from his end and bring him straight up and hit my selection tool. So then I still have this river I need to do. So I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to double click, name it River. And same thing, I'm going to hit Enter. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's grab our pen tool and grab a pretty blue, different color than your uh, road, or than your road, obviously. And I'm going to go ahead and click in. And I've got it doing a fill, which I don't want to do. So let's make sure that we've got it set to no fill and a blue stroke. So I can hit escape. And let's go here. I can hit the space bar, slide it over, let go, back down, hit enter. I've got one little bit of river right up here. Hit enter. All right, so now, right now my river's over my roads, which I don't want. So I'm going to take this layer and run it down underneath my roads. I'm going to click here to select everything on that layer. And for my stroke, I'm going to go ahead and choose, we can try 100, we can try 150, totally up to you as to how wide you're going to make your river. You can take and make that path a little bit longer, so it kind of drags off the page a little bit when you do it, to make it so it won't turn into this strange kind of line. So then when you're completely finished, you've done all your labels, you've created everything, you're going to turn your base layer off and you will you can go ahead and throw it away into the trash. And you can do a file save as and go ahead and name it your map. And that is how you create a simple street map in Adobe Illustrator.